Before he hit the big screen, did you know Lee Min Ho had a score to settle that didn't involve cameras and scripts? Forget the spotlight for a moment. Let's do a background check on everybody's favorite actor and see the juicy bits that Lee Min Ho doesn't want you to know. Believe it or not, Min Ho's journey to stardom wasn't always written in the stars. When he was just a kid, his mom had a different vision for him. She was all about him building up some serious physical prowess, so she signed him up for soccer lessons. And get this, not just any lessons, but with none other than the famous Korean national player, Cha Bum Kum. Talk about aiming for the stars from the get-go. For four years, Min Ho kicked it on the field, showing some serious talent and even entertaining the idea of going all in on soccer. He was so into it that he contemplated enrolling in a middle school where he could specialize in the sport. But as fate would have it, a curveball came hurtling his way. In a twist that would reshape his path, Minho's soccer aspirations hit a roadblock when he broke his arm during a match in the fifth grade of elementary school. It's like the universe had a script of its own, and soccer was just a chapter in his evolving story. Little did he know that injury would be the pivot point leading him away from the soccer field and onto the stage, where he'd soon become a household name in the world of entertainment. Lee Min Ho might have gone on to be a household name in the industry, but he really had it rough at some stage. Not once, but twice he's danced with death. In a chit-chat with Entertainment Weekly back in 2015, he revealed a previously unknown secret, and that is him using only his good leg in all those epic fight scenes you see on the screen. Now rewind to 2006, when Minho and his bud Young Il Woo were basically living their best 19-year-old lives, planning a sweet holiday in Gangwon province. But hold on, cue the crazy plot twist. A rogue vehicle crashed into them, turning their chill road trip into a horror movie. They were banged up real bad. Lee was stuck in bed for months, and Young wasn't doing much better. The Korea Times painted the whole picture as Lee's thigh and ankle were shattered and his knee was in a tear. Fast forward to 2011 during the filming of City Hunter, and guess what? Another car escapade. Lucky for him, no serious injuries this time. Lee's life is basically a script with plot twists at every turn. The twists and turns in Lee Min Ho's journey to stardom never end. Take, for example, when he first burst onto the scene, his agency decided that his birth name was just too run-of-the-mill. So they gave him the shiny new stage name of Lee Min. But little did they know, or maybe fortunately in a twist of fate, that this seemingly perfect moniker came with its own set of quirks. As it turns out, the pronunciation and characters of Lee Min aligned a bit too perfectly with the Korean word imin, meaning immigration. And things played out real funny when, instead of skyrocketing to the top of internet search results, poor Lee Min found himself tangled up in a web of immigration-related hits. Not exactly the star-studded limelight he had in mind. After two years of navigating this unintentional detour through the virtual immigration maze, Lee Min Ho decided it was time for a reboot. He bid farewell to the name that led him on an internet adventure and reclaimed his original identity. In a 2015 Entertainment Weekly interview, he was asked about his academic performance in school. The dashing actor confessed that hitting the books wasn't his jam. If he did manage to squeeze in some study time, he'd probably pull off a solid average. He also spilled the real secret to his popularity in school, and it wasn't because he aced exams. Nope, it was all about those good looks. The dashing actor was probably strutting through the halls, turning heads left and right. Who needs high grades when you've got that level of charisma, right? But you know what? When the actor isn't putting on the big screen showing his talent, he spends some of his free time rocking the charity game. A good-looking actor with a good heart, what a way to go. The 36-year-old has been soaking up love from fans like a sponge. And guess what? He's all about spreading that love right back. In 2014, he kicked off this do-gooder movement called Promes, a mashup of promise, his name, and the fan club vibe with Minos. Promes isn't just a catchy name. It's a powerhouse of positivity. Minho teamed up with heavy hitters like WF and UNICEF, creating a superhero squad for the greater good. They're not messing around. They've tackled everything from helping kids who need a leg up to saving animals facing the endangered species list. Oh, and they're even bringing fresh water to places like Malawi by building wells. Talk about making a splash for a cause, but the cherry on top? In 2015, Minho's fan club went all in dropping a jaw-dropping 100 million won, that's roughly 92,400, for UNICEF's Nepal Earthquake Relief Fund. Now, that's not just a flex, it's a testament to the generosity flowing through Minos. The story doesn't stop there. 
In 2016, Min Ho snagged the Sharing Happiness Award from the Ministry of Health and Welfare. And as it turns out, the actor is not just slaying it on the screen as an actor or good at charity, but he is, in fact, a total gaming enthusiast. He once spilled the beans that if he hadn't ventured into acting, he'd probably be rocking the title of a pro gamer or working his magic behind the scenes at a game company. Now, if there's one game that gets Minho's heart racing, it's the multiplayer online battle arena sensation League of Legends. And guess what? He's not navigating the virtual battlefield solo. He forms a dynamic gaming duo with none other than Kim Hee Chol from Super Junior. When Hee Chol spilled the tea on who rules the League of Legends realm among celebrities on the talk show Radio Star, he boldly placed himself at the top. But of course, he couldn't resist mentioning Min Ho as his gaming nemesis. These two aren't just gaming buddies, they're in it for the competition. Let's take it back to 2010, when Sandra Park, the former 2NE1 powerhouse, took on the role of representing Caspier. Little did she know it would lead to an unexpected rendezvous with none other than Lee Min Ho. The promotional gig came with a kicker, a music video titled Kiss. The spotlight wasn't just on the catchy beats. It was squarely on the on-screen chemistry between Sandara and Lee Min Ho. Their kiss scene became the talk of the town, elevating itself to one of the most iconic events in the K-pop scene that year. But here's where it gets a bit awkward. Sandara spilled the tea on the variety show Soulmate 2, revealing that those steamy kisses weren't exactly a walk in the park. In fact, she confessed to locking lips with Lee Min Ho not just once or twice, but a whopping 50 times. Why the marathon, you ask? Well, as it turns out, as a rookie in the entertainment scene, Sandara faced a classic case of stage fright, finding it challenging to really feel the romance vibes with a crowd of onlookers, especially when she was going up against an actor with a massive reputation. As a testament to his massive popularity at home and abroad, Min Ho received a prestigious invitation to China that cemented his status as an international sensation. The actor got super famous in China for his outstanding performance in several roles in some TV drama in that period. He was asked to take the stage on none other than Chinese network CCTV's Lunar New Year Gala, a show that holds the crown as the most watched spectacle in China during the Lunar New Year festivities. This wasn't just any performance, it was a groundbreaking moment. An astounding 700 million viewers tuned in to witness Li Min Ho showcase his talents, belting out the theme song of the iconic drama Boys Over Flowers alongside Taiwanese singer Harlem Yu. His performance wasn't just a musical treat. It marked a historic milestone as well. So there you have it, the interesting times and moments from the biggest actor in the Korean entertainment scene. Lee Min Ho is still very much active, meaning he's still got some more precious moments to serve us, and we're up for it.